March of 2015, I uh, was rushed to the emergency room and my colon perforated. And I had to get a temporary ileostomy. And three weeks later, they called and the doctor said, you know, this wasn't from Crohn's disease. You had a tumor, you have cancer. You know, like everyone who's heard those words, the, the weight of those words is really like heavy on your body. And um, I handed the phone to my wife and uh, I couldn't talk anymore. Um, the first words out of my mouth were, uh, I'm not gonna make it till Christmas. I fell into a depression and um, my wife carried, the, carried my hope for me and um, without her, I probably wouldn't be here. She took my reason to live upon herself until I could find it. The doctor said, you know, chemo is the only thing that's going to help. I asked about diet change, lifestyle change, acupuncture, hyperbaric oxygen. His exact words, word for word out of his mouth were, don't believe all that voodoo magic. Nothing's going to help you but chemo. I started chemo. I did uh, nine rounds of chemo. And by the ninth round, I was bedridden. I couldn't eat. I had no will to live. What changed for me is going to the doctor after that ninth round of chemo and asking, you know, this, I feel like I'm gonna die, what else can I do? And his words changed everything. He said, you can't do anything. You have to do chemo for the rest of your life. Funny thing enough was that day was the same day the Truth About Cancer was airing in 2015. So I told the doctor I'm not doing that and I already, I had already heard about it. And so I went home that night and got an information overload <laughs> from everything there and um, the truth about cancer kind of lit that that fire of hope that maybe there is another way to heal cancer. Learned what you know they're naturopath oncologists and I found one that gave me even way more hope than I I could ever imagine. And she she uh, set me on a journey to, to do things for myself. I, she gave me a book to read called Radical Remission that a lot of people talk about. That day I gave up, you know, meat, sugar. I'm a whole food plant-based diet now. That day changed everything. I don't have a desire for dessert. I don't have like anything. It's just like, okay, if I'm gonna do this, 100% do it. You know, it's not no cheat days, nothing like that. I'm doing acupuncture, I was doing uh, IV vitamin C, I'm alpha lipoic acid, it's just anything that I've met through people around me and other, other places I've been. I'm just trying to stimulate the immune system because the immune system can kill cancer. And so everything I do to my body is, you know, heal the body, don't, don't poison the body to heal cancer. The interesting part is I wasn't doing any chemo, they found 13 cancerous, cancerous looking things inside my body. 12 of the 13 after a pathology report was run on them, 12 of the 13 were dead cancer. My last scan showed unmeasurable spots in my liver. I'm gonna do everything I can to heal my body. I think it's possible and I think I can be a radical remission case.